wealthy people, when you ask them what they do for a living, they don't say I do, or they don't say I am. They don't say I am a dentist. I'm a doctor. I'm an accountant. It's I own, I own businesses. I own real estate. I own the, and I, I couldn't say that, you know, but I, you know, I did have a practice, but again, the practice didn't operate without me. The other thing, the other two things that, that I realized was number one, over 90% of wealthy people invest in real estate. Uh, at that time, I only had my primary home, which that, that doesn't count. So that doesn't bring in cash flow. And then number two, they had multiple income streams coming in, an average of seven to nine. And at, again, at that time, I had one. So that was really the pivotal shift to start my journey moving forward. So how did you shift, right? You had this realization and take, take us through how you navigated that. Is it, was it cold turkey? Did you kind of just flip a switch and say, I'm going to start from scratch and try and start acquiring assets or buying and building assets? Um, or was it a uh, kind of a shift over time or a transition over time that you did? 